Whistler, British Columbia. Wintery wonderland, tourist mecca, destination for those who are looking to work, to play, and to otherwise have a good, enthusiastic time. But there is a dark side to this place, and even here, people are struggling for their freedom. Rumor has it that exploited Australian workers keep this economy going. Groups like FAN say there's truth to these allegations. I mean, these huge organizations are saying that you can come and snowboard and ski and meet people, but the only people that they're meeting are the people that they're chained next to at the dishwasher. They then get put into these makeshift houses. These are actually old containers. 15 to 20 people live in one of these. In terms of their work environment, it's, uh, it's brutal. It's brutal. They're basically somewhat chained to a dishwasher or to the cooktop. So we're here at a local grocery establishment trying to uncover some hard evidence about this alleged practice. I'm going in disguised as a, another local businessman. To see. Hi, could I uh, talk to the manager, please? Hi, uh, my name's uh, Lucas Blackfield. Well, this, I this works pretty well for us. We, uh, we, we let them out once a week to go drinking. So we're using a heavier duty or one uh, here, and it's, uh, it's a little rusted, but he hasn't gotten tetanus. Hey, is that a camera? No, no, it's not a camera, I promise. What do you guys do? Oh, hey, no, 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 sorry, no, no. sorry, sorry, sorry. No. Ah, ah, ah. Go, go, go. What is a blue personifies the struggle? He was a special guy. He was funny and he was caring. Waza Blue spent his last precious hours in Whistler, BC, chained to this machine, in this dish pit, in this local restaurant. It's unclear what happened to him next. Some say he survived, some say he got out, others say his head exploded. What is for certain is that the six months he spent chained in this machine, using this device here, were over the night he decided to break free. In 2002, cell phone footage appeared on the internet, which many suggest was Waza's escape. The alternative explanation is that the footage is a fabrication meant to keep the people afraid. In fact, the best form of control is that that doesn't have the appearance of control at all. So, uh, as in Huxley's Brave New World, what we have is a rumor getting among the people that the slightest glance at freedom will be met with massive repercussions. There's all these rumors going around that the, the kids have been microchipped and whatever else, and it's scaring them a lot. It's the organizations that are putting that into their heads so they don't leave, and they're telling them that their head's going to blow up in a, if they leave in a 20 kilometer radius. I mean, it's not true. Mr. Mellon, Mr. Mellon! Uh, yes. Sorry, Mr. Uh, Melamed, do you mean to tell me that as the mayor of Whistler, you have not heard of Waza? Yes, I confess, I have not heard of Waza. Are you telling me the truth? <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I got uh, no reason to lie. Mr. Melamed, are you telling me the truth? Yes. He says he's telling me the truth. It's not surprising that the mayor denies the existence of the symbol of the struggle. We talked to a local blacklisted journalist to see how the media controls the message. As soon as uh, we try to print anything such as the Aussie problem, the big man upstairs says uh, we can't print it. You know, pretty much had the story and then one of my sources was uh, found decapitated in the woods. I had bricks thrown in my windows. Noam Chomsky's recreational industrial complex exposes Canada's massive work camps in places like Whistler. Now, people are drawn by the lure of a better life, but then entrapped in jobs that they're helpless to extricate themselves from. So, the evidence of the success of these systems is found in the compliant working Aussies themselves. You don't have <laughs> to live this way. That's all good. That's how we choose to do it, my man. That's how we choose to do it. They've got to you. They always had me, that was the thing. Ever since day one. <sighs> so the Olympics are coming, and many of the Australians who arrive here will find one of these, their beachfront property, for their time in Whistler. Some will stay, some will try to escape. But I, for one, like Waza Blue, will continue to struggle to break the chains.